How are you doing well that you couldn't accept my answer? God, Think about that. Mess with men all the time. Folks, two real romantics who met in Walmart loved the store so much they decided to do their yeah. wedding there. If you were to get married in a place that means a lot to you, where would it be? And describe the ceremony. Patrice O'Neal. I get married at uh, one of those ultimate fighting cages at, during a match. I have Frank Shamrock as my best man, and every time I get ready to say I do, Frank would choke me unconscious for, <laughs> for being stupid enough to get married. And if and if my fiance tries to wake me up, his brother Ken will come flying knee kicker right in the side of the temple, and we'll both spend our honeymoon in a coma. All right, Tom Cutter. Well, I already had my perfect wedding. It was the one my wife. Plan for us. <laughs> okay, enough of that crap. My ultimate wedding would be a Rastafarian service held in Fenway Park. My bride would be a dwarf mutant infomaniac gymnast with a trust fund. And all my groomsmen would have Down syndrome so that I look particularly fetching on my special day. <laughs> okay. John Fugelsang. First off, I love the Walmart story. It's the first time I've ever allowed a union in a Walmart. But <laughs> I would love to good. get married right here in New York City tonight at the Republican National Convention. Because these wonderful people that go to the convention seem to enjoy watching grown men make promises they don't intend <laughs> to ever keep. You know, the bridal party can knock back some 40s with my girl Jenna. Laura can give my mom some extra Xanax. And it'll be a great reception until the cops find out that our Michael Moore pinata is actually Michael Moore. <laughs> okay. Lynn Coplitz. Well, I would get married at an ex-boyfriend's house. We'd consummate the ceremony on his bed. Huh. And then we would leave him to sleep in our wet spot. And then I would walk out the next morning screaming, Who's crazy now, mother... <laughs> <laughs> That's the show, folks. Good night.